Hello everyone, we are happy new month. If you're new, you're welcome. I hope you all are doing well. So right here, I'm just going straight into, um, I've already applied my transition color off camera. So I wasn't sure whether to film this look or not. But after doing one, uh, well, after working on, on the other eye, I decided to record it. So I've already applied my transition color off camera. So I went ahead and cut the crease. So next right here, I'm going in with Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. I'm going in with a purple shade right there. So I'm doing it a little different. So I'm applying the colors in the opposite uh, way. So this one, the purple was on the um, it's on the uh, outer corner of my eye. So on this eye right here, I'm putting in on the inner corner. So next, I'm going in with a blue eyeshadow, with a light blue eyeshadow from uh, Inglot. So I'm applying that next to the purple eyeshadow. And also, I'm softly blended the uh, the blue eyeshadow into the purple one next uh going in with the same eyeshadow palette from uh, huda beauty i'm applying the yellow uh, shade next to the blues and also going to be softly blending the yellow into the blue to fade out the line and also that will give me a little bit of a, a tiny green uh, shade between the yellow and the blue so next i'm going in with the red shade from the same eyeshadow palette and i'm applying that on the crease to kind of Deep in the uh, the crease color a bit. So next, I went ahead and applied my lashes. So right now, I'm just pinching the first lashes with my natural lashes together. So before going ahead to apply my foundation, I'm gonna remove this cap so that way the uh, the foundation won't stain it, and just push my my crochet braid back. So right here, I'm going in with my my primer and just applying it on my skin. So next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using two shades. One is from Kiko Milano and the other one, and the other one is from Sephora. So right here, I'm going in with the um, Kiko Milano. So next, I'm going in with the Sephora foundation. So I'm just applying it there and next I'm going to go in with my brush and uh, blend it all together. So for concealer, I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NW45 and I'm going to be applying that using a small uh, fluffy brush to apply the uh, concealer. So I'm going to be using the same brush to uh, blend out the concealer and so I've been using this technique for a couple of weeks now and so far I, I love the end result so I decided to use it in this video. I don't think I'll be changing this anytime soon. So using the small fluffy brush to blend out the concealer helped me to get into the areas I wouldn't normally reach using the sponge. So yeah, this is really, really helpful. So using the same brush, I use it to apply the concealer on my forehead and the bridge of my nose. For setting powder, I'm using the former invisible loose powder in the shade Silver Sand. So I'm going to be using that to set the uh, the areas I apply the concealer. So next I'm going to be going in with the brown powder to set the rest of my face. And after that, I went ahead and uh, applied my brush off camera and contoured my nose off camera. So right here, I'm just uh, like highlighting my cheek using the former highlighter in the shade Rose Gold. Next, I'm going to be going in with this uh, orange uh, eyes and lip pencil. I'm going to be using that to line my waterline, and also I'm going to be using the same line uh, pencil to line my uh, to line the outer line of my lips. So next, I'm going in to apply my uh, my lip gloss. So 
so now that that is done I'm gonna work on the hair so before doing anything I'm gonna first of all go ahead and uh, comb my hair to make sure it's properly taken care of uh, so this is the uh, crochet braid and I have a video on this crochet braid I'll put the link in the description box down below so be sure to check it out if you want to see and uh, know how I did it so the night right here I'm going ahead to push the hair back and next I'm gonna go in and uh, put on my wig cap just right there and just tuck the hair underneath so next I'm gonna go ahead and apply my wig and this is a crochet wig uh, I made this wig using a straight braiding hair if you guys want a tutorial on that I'll be sure to leave a comment down below and I will make a tutorial on that I don't have a video on this one because uh, I did it a few months ago and I didn't have enough time to film it but for sure if you guys want a video on the uh, on afro crochet braid wig you guys should let me know in the, the in the comment section down below and I'll make one available for you guys so before going in to comb out the hair right here, I sprayed a little bit of water on my palm and then uh, rub it together. So next I'm going in to massage it into the hair. I'm not rubbing it on the hair, I'm just gently and softly massaging it into the hair. So after that I also did the same thing, applying a, a little bit of hair lotion and uh, just massage it on the hair. So this will make the hair, um, will make it easy for me to comb the hair and also will make it uh, soft. So next right here I'm going in with a comb to comb out the hair and also comb and shape in the hair. So this is the finished result right here I hope you enjoyed this video if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one